Wednesday School. Hey, welcome to Wednesday School. Glad you guys are here. I'm glad you guys are here too. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Wouldn't it be awful if we were like, man, you guys listening again? <laughs> That'd be terrible. You still, anyway, you still hey, here? We better hey. get busy. Yeah, better get let's, busy. Do, let's do one, one, one sponsor. I got a fast. sponsor got real sponsor? quick. Yeah, okay. go ahead. You first. you first. You first. All right. So since we're in the Psalms and we're talking about songs, man, I've got the the new church hymnal. It yeah. is. Quite literally, the official hymnal uh, of OCC. Yeah. Um, so, so that that's that's my sponsor for this. If we this had video. time, I'd give you a page number. You turn it right open. And, yeah. Yeah, but we don't. My sponsor is Milk Duds, hey. the official candy of OCC, Ooh. or at least Wednesday Ooh. School. Okay. I was so, gonna say, yeah, because I like a lot like. of candy. Yeah. 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 But anyway, Milk Duds is good for you. That's yeah. true. That's true. So we are in the the third part of our. Uh, lesson. To, yes. uh, so, so far we've seen that we can trust God to be faithful now and forever, and that we can trust God to help us overcome our enemies. Right. In the last point today, uh, we are going to see that we can trust God to turn things upside down. Yep. Yeah. And right. so, hey, you're going to make a good point there, and we're going to pull up a scripture from Psalm 118. We've been kind of tracking through 118 through this whole thing. In verse 22, it says, The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Now, if you just kind of pull that out of the context, it's not real, like, let me explain is what I'm saying. Let me, okay. let me, wiki, wiki, go ahead, break go it ahead, down. Go ahead and I'm going to break it down. So in Old Testament <laughs> times, they would uh, uh, would be building like a building or an arch or whatever, and uh, there'd be a stone that wouldn't quite fit into the plan, and they would set it aside. Rather than cut it or chisel it, um, they would just like push it off to the side, discard it. Yeah. And and so, um, however, at the end of the project, sometimes that stone would fit perfectly or complete the project. The other thing that they would do, use the the stone for, or a stone could be used for, is to become the cornerstone, and that would kind of set the direction and make sure everything is all squared up. Mm. And so what uh, this verse is saying there, and it kind of actually is a prophecy about Jesus, it's the, the stone that everybody else thinks is not good enough or is rejected, kind of like Jesus was, actually becomes the cornerstone or the most important stone of the whole project hmm. or the foundation, kind of like Jesus is for us. And so, you know, I want to flip that all the way to present day to us. Sometimes we feel like we're cast off or we're a failure or that things are turned upside down and discarded in our lives. And God has a way of bringing them back and making it right and That's making it. it useful and making it beautiful. Things that we think start off awful end up turning around and being good. And that really emphasizes the promise that we see over and over again in this psalm. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. He makes everything good. His love endures forever. He shows mercy when we mess up, he brings us back in and, and sets us straight. Right, so I love it. For that. Yeah. And so here's the deal, man. Corey, what would you say is a situation that you you thought was bad, kind of like a discarded stone, but ends up turning to be good, like the capstone or the cornerstone? Hmm. Have you ever have you ever seen that happen play out in somebody's life or your life or whatever? Yeah, well, the, the first thing that came to my mind, actually, as Kelsey was up here, I'm um, giving the, the yeah. announcements at yeah, the end. Sure. She she gave the charge that said, "Remember who you are, whose you are. That you are special. You are loved, and you're a child of God." Yeah. And man, it, it made me think back to um, one of the internships I had. There's this girl that um, was off by herself. Yeah. And, and I, every time I saw her, I just said, "Hey, uh, you're special. You're loved. You're a child of God." At the end of the summer, she she came to me, tears in her mm -hmm. eyes, and said, "You don't know how much that meant to me." Um, she said, I, I, all summer I've been contemplating suicide, mm. but every time you would tell me that, she said, it reaffirmed my identity in Christ and not in how other people see me. Um, and she's still doing some amazing things today. She's part of a worship team at her church. Oh, uh, so it, it's a cool That's story awesome. of um, yeah. a, a girl who kind of felt like a cornerstone. She didn't feel like she fit in. Yeah, like discarded. Yeah, yeah. It, but but through uh, remembering mm. and embracing her identity in Christ, she found um, a meaning. 
Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Hey, look, um, go ahead and uh, send, a, send us a message, fill out the response form, and just, uh, you know, if you're feeling like you're being discarded or whatever, man, let's, let's kind of uh, reach out, maybe pray, yeah. let us pray for you and, and help you out with that. Um, in the 60-second shot of, uh, of encouragement this week, we're going to give them some, some takeaways. takeaways. Yeah. But uh, that pretty much does it for the lesson. One, remember that God loves you. His love endures forever, that he'll help you overcome your enemies, and that when things look bad or upside down, he can turn them right side up. So I hope that helps you. I hope that encourages you. Go ahead and read Psalm 118. Um, it's it's a good read. All yeah. the Psalms are great. Yep. Yeah. And uh, have a good day. Thanks. See you guys next week. I uh, hope you uh, slide up, comment, interact with us yeah. how, however you want. Um, but, but thanks for joining us for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, Wednesday school. school. See you guys next time.